I work at Donglin Chodin Hakyo, which is a small elementary school in the inner part of Gwangju. Um, it it's in a sort of poor location, and many of my students come from lower income families. But one thing that makes my school even more different is the fact that we focus on special needs students. We got a grant by the Ministry of Education to have them integrated into the classroom more and have more resources for them. So in many of my classes I have one to two and sometimes three special needs students part of the class, sometimes with an additional teacher, other times not. And so a lot of our focus there is being able to help them be part of the class but yet also meet their needs as individuals and as special students within the classroom environment. Two, one. Love, season, paper, and... Good. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? I get up at... at, 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 at seven. Elementary school students are cute, unbearably cute, uh, energetic, but full of surprises. It's a lot of work to teach elementary school students. You have, like, you have to be very focused, you have to be very driven, and you have to be able to go with... You have to be able to adapt in any situation to the students' needs and their interests in that any given day. As an elementary school teacher, we're required to have co-teachers in the classroom with us at all times, um, and it's been a great experience. I was lucky to have a co-teacher who quickly became one of my good friends. Um, I've introduced her to my good friend, she's introduced me to hers, we've even gone camping together in parts of Korea, um, and because of that, we've had a friendship as a successful foundation for our teaching relationship. We've been more efficient teachers overall. Why? 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 Z. Z. As an elementary school teacher, uh, we have to use textbooks for all our lessons, but because of that, we sort of have set benchmarks we want to get all our students to. At first it was great, it gave me direction, it gave me goals I could work towards with my students. And then eventually it sort of became a limitation where I felt confined by the textbook. And once I adapted to my lessons more to using that as a foundation for my, te uh, my teaching material, it's been great. It's provided a strong foundation for the students and fun activities, and beyond that it's allowed me to sort of fill in the gaps with my own personal uh, teaching stuff. Please sit down. Please. Close your eyes. Good. Please open your books. <laughs> There's not many elementary school ETAs. I think there are 20 to 25 of us this year in total. Um, and because of that, we sometimes got our own uh, training during orientation. Um, so sometimes we'd be segregated from the rest of the group and we go discuss issues that are more re relatable to us as elementary school ETAs rather than high school or middle school. Um, we might discuss the textbooks we might have to work with or how the co-teacher environment differs for us. And so we created our own close-knit group of elementary school ETAs and we'll send each other updates and ask for advice, share lessons. Um, and it's been great. It's been a good, uh, a great support system to have this year. Three, two, one. What do you love on me? Good. I go to dance class on Saturdays. I go to dance class on Saturdays. The biggest difference between teaching elementary school students rather than high school and middle school, which are more similar in lesson planning, is the focus on repetition and basic phrases. Um, so one of my main goals is to get them comfortable around basic, uh, basic classroom English. Um, so it's difficult and challenging, but it's really rewarding to see these students walk in every day with a big smile on their face and leave the, leave the classroom with an even bigger one.